Yeah, hi there, and uh, welcome to another sort of little short video I'm putting together. Just this one's just try and resurrect this IC that obviously you can see is quite a few damaged pins. There's about six of them that are basically damaged, twisted, and sort of broken. Um, I'm going to try and attach six new pins to these. Um, I'm going to do three one way and three another way just to give you sort of two ideas on how you can do it. So the first sort of operation on this IC is to basically clean up sort of the remains of what's left so you basically just got to sort of get all the old damaged parts off sort of one by one and uh, the main thing as long as you can see a bit of copper coming out of the body on each position you've got sort of half a chance so basically you just got to try and gently sort of clean everything up best you can so if you can get a little bit of copper coming out of the body, that's all you need. So just get all you gotta do is get the sort of twisted damaged parts off. It's not that easy, so you might need the odd different tool. So I'm just literally using a couple of different pairs of tweezers. I'll probably have to use a scalpel in a minute. So I'll just twist these off. So that's four of them. So as you can see, you can see the remains of the legs that were there just coming out of the body and you can actually chip away a little bit of the the main body just to expose a bit more copper to give you a sort of a chance of joining down so i think one of them is going to have to get a little bit of solder on it just to sort of lift it off the pad so just gently lift that one off now just twist that one off so this this bit will take a couple of minutes but it's sort of worth taking your time I've just got to get that last this last little bit looks a little bit more fiddly so I might have to get a scalpel on that I'm just going to gently cut through that last one just to expose a little bit of copper as you can see it's sort of it's going to be a bit of an awkward one this there you go let's chip that off so you've now got six little bits of copper exposed so I'm just going to wick off all the excess solder on the pads and then give it a clean up and then you've sort of got a basis for a, for a bit of a rebuild. So I'm just going to put a little bit of flux on the legs, on the pads, sorry. So I've got a little bit of flux on the pads. I'm just going to gently wick off the sort of remains of the solder that's there. So the main thing is, just take your time with this. Just gently ease off the damaged parts clean up the pads that are sort of left the main thing is all the pads are still there which is a good thing you've got a little bit of copper coming out of the body on all six positions so you've got one two three four five six and we'll do three one way three another way one we'll do do a simple wire link to three of them and i'm going to sort of take some legs off another old ic to do the other three just to show you sort of two different methods of doing it so basically that's that's the sort of clean up operation you need to perform at the start. Right, so this is where we come to fitting the first three. I'm just gonna do this with simple wire links. I'll put a little bit of flux on. This is my old trusty Kynar wire that I use for a lot of my mods, a lot of my fixtures. So I'm literally going to solder that onto the pad. Just in place there. And the best way to do this, if you get a scalpel blade, so we'll just go to the height of the bit of the copper that's exposed and just gently tweak it across. And in the end it'll just break off. And what you can do is just Gently ease that into position. Just lift it up slightly. And there you go, you've got a nice sort of bridge there, so you can now get a nice little joint on there with a bit of solder. You've got to be pretty quick with this, because if you don't, the other end will come unsoldered at the same time. So I'm just going to put a little bridge on the top of that. Just get a little bit on my iron. This, so the main thing is with this you've got to be pretty quick you don't want too much on there so a little bridge quickly on the top 
And there you go, I've got a lovely little join. I have to give that a little clean so you can see what's going on. Yeah, just give that a little scrub up. I'll clean it properly at the end and sort of put some pictures up. So you've got a nice bridge on the top, you've got a nice sort of bit down the bottom. What I did do, I exposed a little more bit more copper before I sort of done this bit, just by getting my scalpel blade and just gently sort of sort of breaking some of the IC body off. But the main IC sort of components are right in the middle, so you can get away with that. So literally just repeat that all three of the first three, and then I'll do the other three with a different method. So as you can see, I'll put a second wire in onto the other, uh, the other one that I've sort of done a minute ago. So I'm just going to add this third one, same again. Put it onto the pad. Just get your scalpel blade. This is the best way. I know some people do it, they leave the leg long, and then they sort of cut it after, and they do their solder in a different order. But this is the way I've sort of found that I like to do it. Just gently tweak that until it sort of breaks through. So you've got you just push it up against that. So like I say, I scratched back a little bit of the body earlier to expose some of the copper. So I've just got to join them two on the top, and then I'll give them all a clean up, and uh, I'll sort of show you the results of them three after. So literally, you don't need much solder here, just put a little bit on the top. You've got to be pretty quick. So a little bit on that one. So you've got a bit on the top of that, so that's bridged over to that join. Come on, some on the loop on the last one. So you've got a little join there. So you've got three nice joins. So they're all nicely soldered down the bottom. You've got three nice sort of joins up the top. The main thing is, as long as you've got a little bit of copper coming out of the body, you, you've definitely got a sort of good chance of rescuing the IC. So what I'll do, I'll clean all these up and then I'll show you them and, uh, and then we go to the other method. Right, so now I'm just going to come to the second method. So what I do, I'm going to actually take some pins off this old IC. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take the first three pins off. I'll show you how I do that. Now I'm literally going to put them onto the other board. So instead of the wire link, I'm actually going to use three proper pins. So what I'll do, I'll show you how I'll cut these off. Best thing to do is when you're removing pins, if you just scalpel across the top gently, I'll just take three off because that's all I need. So I'll do that two or three times. Just score across the top, so it's about halfway down, and then I can literally go straight through. You'll hear a nice little click. So that's all three of them cut. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of flux on the on the soldered end at the bottom. Now I can just gently lift them off. So it should be the same shape as the ones I need. So if, yeah, if you've got any old piece, uh, PCBs, yeah, you can just take these off and literally just lift them off. What I'll do, I'll clean them up in a minute and then uh, I'll show you how I transpose them onto the other board. So that's literally how you do it. It's pretty simple. Once I get off my soldering iron, it does stick to a bit. So there you go, so you've got three little pins, exactly the same as what I need. So any, yeah, any spare ICs you've got, it's always worth keeping them. So they're exactly the shape I need, so I'll clean them up and then I'll show you how I put them on the other board. Right, so now I'm just going to attach the pin to the first one of the three missing sort of pins. So just drop it into position. These are the ones I took off from the other board. So literally tack that into position. Just get a little bit better down the bottom. So there you go, that one's in position. So I can now solder that on the top, same as before. So I'm just going to add a little bit of flux on the top. Again with this, you've got to be really quick. Just so the other end obviously don't melt. And once I've done this, I'll just repeat the sort of operation for the other two. So you literally just want a little bit on the top. So there you go, you've got a nice join, top and bottom. 
nice join there, nice join there. So I'm just going to repeat that for the other two. So that exactly matches them main pin. So that is pretty much an invisible sort of fix. No one really know. So what I'll do, I'll just repeat the other two and then uh, sort of go from there. Right, so this is actually the finished board. So what I did, I repeated the operation for them two pins at the end. Like just same as the, the other one. Um, yeah, I've literally gone along the top, sold them all up. So as you can see, got nice joints right along the top, right down the bottom. So them three are sort of transposed pins from another IC. Them three are just a bit of kind of wire, sort of shaped like a pin. So yeah, as you can see, the results are, are pretty amazing, really, compared to what we started with. So it's definitely worth you trying. If you've got an old IC that you can't get a spare and you've got no option, it's definitely worth sort of trying to do it. So all you've got to do is expose a little bit of copper um, sort of just in the IC and that'll give you a base to work with and uh, yeah when I sort of scalpel put my blade on there earlier to break the kyanar I appreciate the, the camera angle my hand might have blocked it just all you do put your scalpel blade right at the join and just wiggle the kyanar until it breaks it's hard to do it with cutters so yeah I think you're better off with a blade so yeah what I'll do I'll put a few more pictures up at the end and uh, hope you learn something hope you save a few ICs and uh keep your projects going so if you like this video yeah, please subscribe and, and uh, give us a like and uh, yeah and what I'll do I'll put a few more up so thanks a lot for watching